I am working here with a very simple database in Access. It has only one table, Table Employees, and one form, Form Employees. When I open the Form Employees, I get for a link to the Table Employees, all the employees in the table. But because this is a form and not a table, I can do much more. For instance, I can add on top a combo box and a text box. The combo box I called CBO field and the text box I called TXT filter. What do those two boxes do? Whenever the user enters this field, it finds a listing of all the fields in that table. So let's say we want to choose the department and we want to filter in the department for every department that begins with an M. At the moment I enter, it filters for management and marketing. If I want only management, I have to type a little more than an M, for instance M-A-N, and I get only management. If I don't want anything, I delete whatever is in there and I just press enter and it gives me all the records again. How is this possible, this kind of filter? Because there is a VBA code or script behind these two boxes. I have to put code in here. At the moment the user enters this box, I'm going to fill it with all the fields in the table. And when they go into that field and they type something and they enter, we have to do the opposite. We have to filter. Alt F11 takes me to Visual Basic. I am now in the form, form employees VBA code. And my first entrance there is the CBO field enter. Here is the CBO field. And there is the enter event. A private sub CBO field enter. I need two variables. I is a counter of the integer type or the long type, whatever you choose. And then I need an object type variable that refers to a record set from the DAO library. How do you get that DAO library in here? You have to go to tools, references, and make sure that you have there the data, the Microsoft data access object types in there. If you cannot find that in the listing, that could be that because you have a 64-bit machine, then you have to browse and find this DLL in your program files. That replaces the DAO one from older versions and the 32-bit versions. Once you have that reference set, you can call DAO.recordset. Don't take the access record set, that is not powerful enough. Now I'm going to say to me, me is the form main employees, but I don't care about the, the VBA part, I want the form part of me. If the filter on property is true, then I execute the do command show all records. Then I set ORS to me record set clone. Record set clone is a complete replica of all the records behind me, behind the form in, that we are dealing with. We make sure that the combo box row source type is, is set to the value list and not a table or query. We empty it from previous settings because that list could be old. Maybe someone added new fields. We want the latest of the latest. So we set it to an empty string. And then we loop through all the fields in the record set clone. For i equals 0 to ors fields count minus 1. Don't forget minus 1. Because all indexes in access are zero based. So the fields start counting at 0 to the last one. That's the count minus 1. If you say 1 to count, that is okay too, then you don't have to say minus 1. Then we say if the first field i, 0, the first, the zeroest element, if that type is of the text database type, 
Then we add to the combo box from the ORS, the zeroest field, the name of that field, last name, first name, etc. If it's a text file. We close the for loop and the subroutine is done. Each time the user enters this field, it will automatically create a listing of fields of the text type. Then we need to talk to the text filter element and we use the exit event. We create a reference to a DAO record set again of that type. We create a filter of the string type and we check whether the text, the combo box CBO field is empty. If it's empty, we don't know which field to filter. So if that is the case, then we just put all the records back. We tell the user that they have to select the field first and we exit the sub. And if. Then we check the text filter text box. If that is empty, then we show all the records and we exit the sub. If the text filter is not empty, then we have to create a filter. So we have to create a string of the filter type. Those strings are basically of the SQL or SQL type. In order to know what to do, I have to explain a little more. If you have worked with queries, you probably know that you can always put in a query, let's say in the field last name, you can put a filter uh, under criteria that says like double quotes B asterisk double quote. That means we will look for every last name that starts with a B. And the asterisk is a wild card. That means everything past the B is okay with me. Like double quotes B R asterisk, double quotes would look for Brown, Brownville, etc. You probably also know that you can replace that B or C or D with a parameter. You put parameters always inside brackets, then the, the query before it runs it will ask which character do you want for that parameter, let's say a, an F, and you will get all the people whose last name starts with an F. But then you have to hook onto it, space, ampersand, space, double quotes, asterisk, double quote, because this has to be inside double quotes. But now picture this in an SQL statement in VBA. SQL statements are of the string type, so you have to start with a double quote. And you have to end with a double quote. So this is basically the string inside the double quotes. But then after the word like space, you have to open this string or that string. How do you put double quotes inside double quotes? You use single quotes. And then we have to temporarily close the double quotes we started with. Space, ampersand, space, whatever comes out of the text box space ampersand space we open the double quotes again and close the double quotes at the end and there we put that asterisk but remember that asterisk has to be inside a string within another string so we open with a single quote and we close with a single quote but because we do that at the end we have to open the double quotes again and close the double quotes. I know it is very involved, but you have to follow this literally. So we store in S filter our filter equals CBO field space ampersand space double quote space like space single quote double quote. Here I split them to show you the structure better. But don't put space between this single quote and the double quote. Space, ampersand, space, text filter, space, ampersand, space, double quotes, asterisk, single quote, double quote. Shoo. Then we apply with the do command a filter of the S filter type. Don't use the filter name. 
just use a rear condition and you don't need a control name it's optional then we set ors again to the record set clone of me behind the form if the record set clone has a record count of zero that means there were no records found through that filter then we tell the user no record matches or no records match do command show all records and if um, i'm going to put a breakpoint on the do comma command line so when we run this it will stop and show me what s filter is doing let's see what the form does now see we want to choose the last names and we type a C and we enter when I hold my mouse over S filter it says S filter equals double quotes last name like single quote C asterisk single quote double quote that's exactly what we need I'm going to take the breakpoint out and I let the filter run completely and I get the Clintons and the Carters if I only want the Clintons I took the breakpoint out so now it will just do everything at once if I delete my filter completely I get everything back there is probably much more you want to know about VBA and probably also about access so I developed two tools for you a CD-ROM for access VBA 2007 2010 2013 and a more general CD-ROM for access users the VBA one has three huge parts each part has more than 500 slides it discusses all issues that you could ever dream of in access VBA if you want to go more basic and want to know more about access itself i recommend the second vb cd -ROM. you can find those at www.genesispc.com